Howdy folks, this segment is about oil tanker ship. We will be talking about trade routes, ports of call, its cargo, and how it is being transported. Before we begin, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, press on the notification bell, and click like if it pleases you. An oil tanker ship, otherwise called a petroleum tanker ship, is a vessel intended for the bulk transportation of oil, either raw crude oil or its byproducts. There are two essential types of oil tankers, namely crude oil tankers, which move enormous amounts of raw and refined petroleum from the place of extraction to refineries. Whilst product oil tankers, a lot more smaller, modest size, are intended to move refined items from processing plants to close consuming business sectors. They are also categorized in sizes and are in many cases ordered by their size as well as their occupation. Here are examples of the type of vessels for oil tankers. The size class ranges from inland or coastal, medium sizes with thousand tons of weight, dead weight tons like the Panamax, Suez Max, and Apramax. They can also be termed as BLCC of very large crude oil carriers to the mammoth ultra-large crude carriers which carries of about 550,000 dead weight tons. So you could uh, imagine that uh, they are carrying more than 2 million barrels of oils. They are not carried in drums or in barrel or in containers but basically carried in huge cargo oil tanks. These oil tankers move around 2.0 billion metric tons of oil each year, where the major means of delivery is through pipelines, via land and some marine pipelines, and to the sea trade routes. We can see here the major trade routes of oil shipping as uh, shown in the picture. You could see here the directions uh, and also the uh, area where they are came, coming from and well, the their port of destinations and this oil has been around for centuries and we've been using it for uh, power uh, electricity generation uh, heating cooking and actually uh, the byproducts is more than 1000 of uh, items we can produce here uh, even wax even your lipsticks even uh, asphalt uh, where it uh, is used uh, in lands or roads and so many petrochemicals wherein we produce uh, like uh, plastics, uh, nylons, uh, vinyl chloride monomers including fertilizers and a lot of applications. So here are the top 10 producing oil company as of 2022. So for example number one Saudi Arabian oil company you can pause the video to read uh, more of this. Now these uh, major uh, oil companies uh, producing oil companies uh, they uh, some of them own and operate uh, their own uh, ship uh, oil tankers but mostly the trade uh, or this uh, transportation are being handled by oil tanker operators and here we have the top 10 oil tanker operators such as Mitsui, TK Corporations, uh, Euronav, Scorpio Tankers, Frontline, THT, Chacos, Nabios, SFL and International Seaways and of course there are a lot of key players uh, we are talking about uh, tens and and even hundreds of uh, key players in transporting this kind of cargo around the world. At this present day, TK owns and operates the most majority numbers of oil tankers. TK is a Canadian-based uh, company which uh, provides international crude oil and gas marine transportation services. It also offers offshore oil production, storage, and offloading services. While Saudi Arabia Vari owns the largest fleet of BLCCs of very large crude carrier with about 42 BLCCs uh, on hand right now in active duty as of today. And here is the top 10 list of trading statistics of this oil tanker ship operators. Post the video to further read its content. To continue, this is another vessel size comparison with different type of vessel as you can see here. If we compare NAC Navis, or uh, also known as Sea Wise Giant, which is the largest ever built ship, it's about 458 meters long. It's basically longer than the Empire State Building. And of course, uh, what follows next is container ship like the Mars Makine uh, Moiler. It's about 399 meters. I believe there is a new one which is larger. It's uh, HMM Al Jazeera's. Uh, 
it's about uh, I forgot it's about 430 meters long if I'm not mistaken and this one is a bulk carrier it's 362 meters and uh, another uh, compared to a passenger ship or cruise ship 360 meters all over the seas that's a bigger one I believe it's been uh, commissioned and already uh, sailed and of course uh, the aircraft carriers uh, at this present of course uh, they are, uh, we are only talking about sizes and not necessarily that uh, aircraft carrier should be longer because uh, it, it's all about the uh, applications and occupation of this vessel anyway we are talking about oil tankers so these are the tankers that has been that has been selling and serving uh, different ports around the world and of course uh, delivering all these uh, precious uh, cargos uh, coming from different uh, sources around the globe so keep posted on uh, part 2 uh, segment of this uh, video presentation uh, we will be talking about uh, charters and of course a port of calls uh, berthing and uh, mooring and uh, channeling and pilotage and uh, we will be talking about a uh, certain particular uh, ports uh, called the SBFZ Subic Bay Freeport Zone which uh, will be uh, featured in the next uh, part 2 segment of this uh, presentation